how's your week been going how was your weekend i don't know whenever you're watching this um today i have this makeup look for you guys and this is the glowy lumi look as you guys know i have super dry skin so this summer i'm all about that glowy look no talk to me today i went by the highlight and the lips color because it's summer and we want to look summery and fun and all that good stuff i know sometimes um having glowy skin gets um like oily but who cares i have dry skin and even if it's burning hot outside my skin still looks hella dry so that's why and i am loving this lip color i'm so obsessed if you have oily skin i'm sorry because this is not gonna work for you guys hope you guys like it as much as i do this is what i've been using because it's summer you can use this to go to the pool to go to the club i don't know what you do with your life you can use it for it anything you're gonna look fabulous and let's get started okay if you like this look keep on watching let's start okay so as always i moisturize like a hundred million times with my hans dry skin cream and this is like my holy ground because i am super dry so i have said it like a zillion million times um that's why i'm doing this video for you girls that are super dry um this is super moisturizing still i have to moisturize like a lot of times if you're oily i don't recommend this to you because it's you're gonna feel like cake in your face not putting icing like not like putting icing on your face but it's it is for dry skin people so it is super moisturizing I'm like those girls who first makes her eyebrows because I get a more clean finish with it if I do my eyebrows first. But I'm always worried that I'm gonna mess them up. So for foundation, it looks ugly. Um, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lumi foundation and this thing, <laughs> it was falling. So I put it again. Get all I know. Um, I also recommend the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I don't know why I cannot learn the name if I have it already. I like this foundation. It's really dewy, gloomy, all that good stuff. But today, I, I don't feel like going all out. This is like my special occasion foundation. So yeah, um, I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Lumi. This shade is not the best for me, to be honest. I think it's a little bit dark. Like in camera, it looks good, but in real life, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm trying to gonna mash it to my neck because it does in real life. You can see that it doesn't match me that good, so we're gonna match it. Um, I'm not going to put a luminizer all on my face because I'm like, uh, I don't think I need it because I already put the moisturizer and I don't want to look, I want to look lumi and glowy but i don't want to look oily because as i don't know as you guys probably know when you look oh my god do you guys hear that like my neighbors have like a ceiling cars i don't know why they they are not like even racers they just like really like uh, cars and they're like booming their car right now like boom I don't want to look oily because it's summertime and most of the time when you want to do like the glowy luminous face it comes around really oily and I really don't mind because I'm dry and even if I apply super I don't have primer I'm trying to look for a hydrating primer because I know that it's going to help me a lot even when I moisturize I wait and everything because before before moisturizing i already moisturized when i started doing my brows and still it's it's gonna be dry and you you guys cannot see it because you're in the camera but in real life i'm still dry and it's not cool right now i'm just using my um point of foundation brush by Real techniques to really get in the edges of the brow because i don't want to get any foundation on my brows because then that will not be cool and we all know that that will not be cool that that's not cool that's not cool um and when i apply my foundation to really get that real airbrush finish first i'm using the buffing buffing brush by Real techniques i pat it i'm not rubbing it this also helps to really get that airbrush glowy finish plus the foundation this foundation is really good for um, drugstore foundation, it's um, I 
think like almost twelve dollars, eleven dollars. I don't know, but I think it's a really good price for the quality and what you're getting. You're getting one fluid ounce and thirty millimeter millimeters. Uh, sorry guys, I cannot talk. Uh, see you guys now. I'm a bad, bad speaker, bad, bad talker. So let's just. You're getting good foundation, okay? So you're getting a good amount for the price. Ooh. I have to set my under eyes because it creases. I'm gonna crease. And I'm using my Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel London. And I'm setting that because it will crease on me. Like everything creases. So even if I don't like set my whole face, I'm just setting my under eyes. Plus when I put on mascara, no matter what, it smudges on me. Setting my under eyes makes it more easier for me to take out the smudginess under my eyes with a Q-tip than not having anything under my eyes plus having a crease, a crease foundation. Even in my eyelids I need to put because I put a foundation there so I had to um, set it. So this is like the only part we're going to set. I do get smile, like the smile lines right here. But I'm not gonna set it because um, I'm just gonna go over it when my foundation sets because it gets ugly. I get dry patches right here and I don't want to set it to even intensify it more. So let's just keep it like that, okay? Now I'm going to bronze my face and to bronze my face I'm going to use this shade from this really old, well not really old, okay? Like a year old um, Victoria's Secret palette, I don't know. And I'm going to use my, oh by the way, I use my um, Real Technique setting brush to set my under eyes. Huh. I'm going to grab this with my Multitask brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to get that. Tap the axis and ooh, it looks, I, lo I love how it looks. I'm going to bronze and when I bronze, um, when I, do you have a good issue when you do your makeup? I hate getting that itchy. Um, I'm gonna apply it like if I was applying my blush, so I'm gonna apply it there. I'm not really contouring, I'm just bronzing my cheeks. I'm going to contour, but right now I'm just going to bronze because I, I don't want to use um, blush. So I'm just going to bronze. This is totally random, but I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm using earrings. I was pretty lazy some of these days and I wasn't using earrings. I wanna kinda, I don't kinda, I want to start using hoop earrings, but I don't know because like, I'm like kinda hesitant because I'm like, what if it doesn't look good on me? But if it does, you're gonna probably see me using them on a video, but yeah, I wanna start using hoop earrings, yes! <laughs> That's so weird, but I wanted to say that. I wanted to get it off my chest, I don't know why. But yeah, um, I'm gonna blend that, if, and if I want to apply more, I'm gonna probably apply more. Because I want to, I like, Looking bronze in. So now we're gonna contour, and I'm using my sculpting brush by Real Techniques, and this thing is super soft. This is probably my favorite thing ever. I'm gonna buy another one probably because this is the bomb diggity, the bomb.com. Everything that is bomb, this is cool, this is awesome. You need it in your life. You can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for your foundation, you can use it for your under eye, for contouring. So good, it's so soft. I love it. You need it in your life. Kinda got a little bit excited though. I'm gonna first contour a little bit my nose because I don't want everything to be here and on the brows. I want to balance everything on my face so we're going to apply this here. And it's not like a really big difference but you can notice this difference. Let me show you. And I'm taking it all the way from here to here. You see the difference? Like it's a really big difference and I like how it looks. Then I'm gonna get my setting brush. I'm gonna blend that out even though it's not like that noticeable, but I'm gonna blend it out. I'm going to contour my face and I'm using the Anastasia palette, the contour palette. I'm going I'm going to use Havana. What I do because I have noticed when I'm like I take some of my foundation away and I start getting like white patches and I don't want that. I blend it by patting it. I'm kind of doing this because I want to like get this rounded um, smile line, you know, like when you have like mm, the apples really rounded. Yeah, no, sorry. And with this brush, I'm going to blend everything out because as you can see, this is cray cray. 
Now I'm just going to go with my um, foundation brush and I'm going to carve that contour. And I'm going to carve it more with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder and using my setting brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to carve that out a little bit more. Now I'm going to go again with my under eyes because they already creased and I'm going to use the banana shade from the Anastasia palette and I'm going to tap the axis and go over that to really brighten more my eyes too. Oh, and I'm also with the um, leftover product because there's still product there. I'm going to put some in my eyes and I just do this. I know it's weird but it does work. And I'm also going to add more definition to my eyes without using eyeshadows. So it's like contouring your eyes. And you can definitely see a difference, but not so much in camera. But yeah, like try it and you're gonna see a difference. Now for the Dewey Lumi part, I'm going to use Butterfly Beach by Colourpop and this is like a bronzy highlight. These are the new Colourpop highlighters and these things are amazing. I have only one and I'm in love with it. It really doesn't set so it really... it's dewy so I use my finger with this because it's better if I use my finger. Um, because I tried to put it with a brush, it didn't work. Because it's like a kind of bronze highlight, I'm going to put it on top of my, almost where my blush will be, but I'm applying it here, where I put my bronze, my bronze there. And this thing is beautiful, as you can see, you can see a difference, you can totally build it up if you want. I build it up because I like the highlight, I like doing it, I like, well, I love looking highlighted and all the good stuff. And these things are wonderful, as you can see. Well, you can already see it in the camera, and then it's like, so I just applied two times because I don't wanna. I wish I like I really wanna put more, but I need to show, okay? Because there's still more I'm gonna put because I'm really super dry. Now to add more like a highlight, like a normal skin highlight, I'm going to use my Becca Trimmer Skin Perfector. So this is what we're going to put right here on the cheek, on the cheekbones. You can put it wherever you want. This is my personal preference. So I'm gonna put it like on the top of the arch of the brow. If you want to put some on the arch of the brow, you can do that too. I'm not gonna put anything on the forehead because I think the forehead is already pretty bright. I'm gonna put a little bit on my shin, a little bit on my cupid bow, cupid bow. And I'm gonna put, I'm not putting it like on the bridge because I want gonna lift my nose and if I put it like and if I put it right here it's not going to lift it like right here so just like you're gonna notice now you're gonna notice that right now when you apply a cream product like a cream highlight and you put over it a powder highlight it's gonna intensify it even more so I'm gonna do that because I don't mind looking super glowy um, and I'm gonna grab the Anastasia highlight I'm gonna, like, on the tip of that, I'm gonna grab it. And as you can see, it's already really intensified. I'm gonna put it on my cupid swell, of course. On my chin. On the high points of my cheekbones. And all, like, everywhere where I apply the, the cream highlight, I'm gonna put this. I'm kinda gonna lower the lighting right now so you guys can see more of the intensi intensity of the highlight. <laughs> As you guys can see, I already applied my mascara because it's mascara, you guys don't don't need to see that. It's like normal mascara and if you want a mascara routine, um, but yeah, um, right now I'm going to, what am I going to do? I really don't have things planned out, so that's why I'm like, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to light my lips with this um, Italy Deluxe ultra fine lip liner and it's like a sherry red and I'm going to use a matte liquid lipstick by um, LA girl and this is the flat finish pigment gloss but it's a liquid lipstick and this is obsessed and I'm fully obsessed with this um, new line first um, before um, applying the liquid lipstick I always put um, Vaseline and I'm using this one 
you want to make sure that with this liquid lipstick and even more with this one they are super matte like the cap on the ones are not they were really matte but these ones are super matte it's kind of crazy how matte, matte they are so make sure you apply Vaseline um, chapstick, anything that you have that will hydrate your lips before applying this because of, if not, they're gonna be super dry and flaky and we don't want that. So I'm going to run my lips. How do I look? I know I look crazy. Um, because it's summer, I really want to use a bright lip color, uh, but, but I love this one because you really don't need to line your lips with this. Um, um, it really has a precise tip to apply it. I said, well, I'm not in focus. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm dropping everything. It looks like this. Really cool, I know. It reminds me of American Doll by Anastasia Beverly Hills. The only problem I will say with this um lip um, thing is, is that they are tacky when you um put them on they, when they dry out. But it's not like you're gonna be all the time like if you are, that's not cool. That's, don't do that. Ailey Girl really did a good job with this um, liquid lipsticks because they are so good. And even for like those girls, or those girls who are in a budget, budget even me, they are awesome because I can buy them all. And with all the lime crime scandal, we all know we don't want to buy nothing from them. So these are a good alternative. Um, they last on your lips a lot even when you eat. With the lime crime scandal that just happened, this is a really good alternative because we all know we don't want to buy nothing from them because they are not a good company. So these are a good alternative. Now, for the end, I'm going to set everything and I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is what makes everything look even more glowy. And you're gonna guys, you're gonna see right now. And we are done! Do you guys like it? I do like it a lot. subscribe if you haven't already thanks for coming back if you were subscribed or you're not subscribed or you are still coming back thumbs up to you um thank you for the support i'm truly blessed to be doing this and yes see you next week <laughs>